it is summertime and one of the things I have noticed on like all the chicken message boards and everything lately are with the heat how do you keep your chickens cool so today right now I think it's 96 with a uh, heat index of 103 and it's going up to a hundred with a heat index of 108 so my birds I don't want them to overheat I don't want my birds getting too hot so I'm going to show you what I do to keep my chickens cool during the summertime. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. I'm Mr. Icicle. I'm Mr. Ten Below. Number one, changing the water. All right, so I make sure that I change the water first thing in the morning, nice cool water, and nice cool water in the afternoon. This way they have uh, access to it. Um, I take a, a washcloth, I wipe it down, because during the hot weather you get, I, I don't want to say it's algae, but you get like a slick buildup in there from the heat, and I don't want my birds having that. So I clean out the water buckets, so this one is a five gallon waterer right here, and then I have a five gallon bucket for the um, inside water. Now when I run the hose, I like to... I like to let it run until all that hot water is out of the hose. You leave that hose in the sun, that water is going to be pretty hot. They call me heat miser. Whatever I touch starts to melt in my clutch. So just like how if you want cold water from your sink, you let it run until it's cold. Let your water run until it's nice and cold coming from the, uh, coming from the house. Let's see what we got. Because I'll tell you what, that water in there was hot earlier. All right, it's nice and cold. We're gonna give that a little rinse down. And all we're gonna do is fill both of these buckets up to the top. I'll be back when they're full. Now here is the key. I have water bottles that I had frozen in the freezer and I'm gonna put one in each one. Now this one's getting dumped into um, an open container, but this one's gonna be closed. Those uh, ice water bottles should help keep the water cool throughout the day. All right, I put the water in there. Within five to 10 seconds, a bunch of babies came over and, hey, look at this, this cool water, yay. There you can see the uh, ice bottle floating in the water. You know, I, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Now, one thing you got to watch out for, that cool water, and I've, I've caught them doing this before, they have a tendency to stand in it, get their feet wet. That's why the advantage is having one open and one closed. So the closed, they can't stand in. This one they can stand in, but they can still drink. Number two is shade. As you can see, my runs are in shade for the better part of the daytime. I mean, you know, there's some sun in the yard, but for the most part, from morning until evening, I have a good amount of shade, but if you don't have trees like I do, like these big old oak trees, tarps. Tarps work very well. <clears throat> you can get them very cheap at, a, you know, if you have like a Harbor Freight or something like that, um, you can get tarps pretty cheap. But you got to give some kind of shade to your birds. Shade is number two. Number three, fans. <clears throat> I do have my big fan in my coop, and I actually have a smaller fan over here. So I have two fans in the coop, and it pushes it out. Now in con combination with the fans, make sure that you have plenty of ventilation. I have ventilation all over. I have it up top to let the heat rise. I keep the front door open. It has uh, 
the hardware cloth on it. I have great ventilation in my coop. There's windows all over. I have ventilation up there and fans pushing that air through. Now I understand it's not like air conditioning. It is pushing warm air, but just the air circulation, the flow does work pretty good in here. Number four, frozen fruits and vegetables. So I have frozen peas, just a little thing of frozen peas, and I have some frozen watermelon rinds. Now, during the summertime, I do not give my chickens, sorry, I just put them down. I do not give my chickens corn, like cracked corn or um, uh, bread. During the winter time, I do, because that's empty calories, carbohydrates that they can use to burn uh, to keep themselves warm but I do not want to give them that during the summertime and have them trying to burn it off and you know it's extra energy but I don't want to give them too much their pellets are just right for egg production so I don't want to just load them up on snacks this is really only just to keep them cool on the hottest days uh, you know when it's warm I give watermelon a lot the peas they can roll around with them, or like you know roll them on the ground play with them and eat them so I'm gonna give them one small bag of frozen peas and uh, a small bag of watermelon rinds. We leave a lot of the watermelon on it when, when we cut them up so that they can have something to eat, something, a little treat. One other tip, um, this isn't related to keeping them cool, but during hot weather, collect your eggs multiple times a day. Um, I usually get them uh, late morning, early afternoon, and then just before they go to bed. Um, and that's so that you don't have eggs sitting in a coop in 98 degree weather. Just keep them nice. I get them inside, get them in the air conditioning. That's gonna do it. So I take care of my birds through cool, fresh water, shade, fans, and frozen fruits and vegetables. And again, that is the four steps I take. I've never had a bird overheat. I've never walked out during the heat and found one in distress. So it does work out pretty well. So I hope this helps you. Um, if, it if it does, leave a comment down below how you keep your birds cool, if it's anything other than these four uh, helpful hints. And if you can, like, subscribe. Have a great day.